hey what's up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new just stopping by don't go too soon press the subscribe button and continue to check me out so today we are doing a quick weave side part service on my client she is taking her maternity pictures for her little bundle of joy um actually the same exact day so we did her hair at her appointment was at 10 i believe and her photo shoot was at 1. Um, we finished around 12, so it was a two-hour service, um, but I already went ahead, washed, blow-dried her hair. She has a lot of hair, very long, um, and then I put the cap on and molded it down. Um, if you need a detailed tutorial on that, definitely leave a comment down below, and I'm happy to do one, but I just really wanted to um, record so you can see how I lay the tracks. It was a very cute style. Her pictures came out so beautiful, y'all. Um, but yeah, so right now the cap is already on and molded. We put the liquid cap on, put her under the dryer for about 10-15 minutes, let it get really, really dry so it didn't go anywhere. And now we're just cutting off the access. Um, and then we're going to start laying down the tracks. So my client had two full bundles that she came in with, but then she also had um, bundles or a pack of hair that she had as clip-ins. So this weft is a little bit thicker because it's really three tracks in one. She just took the clips off um, of the track. And I was like, girl, where are the clips at? She was like, well, I took them off. So I just wanted to see if we can put them in for extra fullness. So I put those in the back one because um you know it was the one that was really not the same as the others and they i just wanted them to lay a little bit flatter i wasn't sure they were how they were going to lay in the front so i put those on first just so they can be out the way and i really stretched them out and measured them um but they end up working perfect uh the texture was different but that wasn't a problem because i knew we were going to go and cut and style it anyway as long as it was human hair i can work with it so and it curled beautifully so i just went with it um, they laid nice and then we continued to use the other two bundles. You can see this was like one of the short pieces of her clip-ins um, that I just measured and just picked the side to put it on. Um, I normally put my glue on and blow dry it just a little bit to get it a little tacky and then I put it on the cap. Um, I don't put it on the cap while it's like glue running everywhere. One, it's a mess. And then two, it just helps it um, just stick better to the cap. We finished with the pieces and now we're moving on to the actual bundles. And you can see that I'm just measuring from side to side. Um, and then just cutting the weft and gluing and laying. Same repetitive motion. Um, I did make sure that she had a heavy bang because she did show me an inspo pick and she had very heavy curls um, with a side bang. So when you do want that, you want to take make sure that you take that hair all the way over in front of their forehead. Some people don't like that much hair in their face, so just ask your client. Um, but I knew how she wanted her hair, and that's why I'm taking it all the way over um, to her forehead so it can hang with most volume in her face.
Okay, so since we're getting close to the top where I'm about to close it off, I normally just cut, cut the cap at this point so I can see exactly where I'm laying because we want that closure, not closure, but we want our last piece to be extremely close to the leave out but still on the cap. This is going to help with blending, um, making sure that everything is intact. So you see me now just cutting off. Please, please, please be careful when you're doing this. You do not want to cut your client's hair. Um, make sure you do also have a good pair of scissors because if you don't like if they're dull It's just gonna be hard to cut the cap and it's just gonna nag at it um, So just cut off the remaining cap and then continue to glue your tracks until it's completely closed out Y'all, I just want to mention that I am not hurting my client. The baby was moving the whole time of her service and putting her through it. She was just like, girl, I wish he'd be still. He keeps moving, keeps moving. So that's why you see her like holding her st stomach sometimes and just rubbing it and making that face because she was in a little pain. Well, she wasn't in pain, but I guess it's just uncomfortable. at the very last track that we're laying you can see that i'm being very careful making sure it's nice and close to the leave out but still on the cap um i am making sure that this last piece goes all the way around the perimeter like there's no pieces so it's nice and seamless for the close off So she's all installed. It looks super seamless. We're about to just comb it out a little bit. I want to give her some layer. Um, I also want to make sure that because we had two different types of hair going on, that we can make sure it's blend seamlessly. So I'm just going to go in at the ends, give it a nice little trim, and then go in her front. She did want some face framing in the front, some layers, and complete that. And then we're going to curl her up. So I realized that the detail of the layering is probably on my Instagram video. I've been trying to do both lately, y'all. So if you don't follow my Instagram, definitely go follow it. It is at level 27 hair studio it is the business. And then my personal is at Paige Cheyenne. That's P-A-I-G-E-S-H-A-I-A-N. Um, now we're just going out and pressing her leave out to blend it with the weave. Um, I did put um, Kendra's silk pressing serum on her hair first and then I'll use my wax stick as well and go ahead and press it out. I've been watching different people's 
curl techniques just trying to get mine better to have like that nice flowy look so I've been learning a lot just watching different videos from different stylists um, I've been pin curling my curls after curling them to make them last longer you know and it doesn't take long um, I never took small sections I just was skipping like the pin curl part I think which is why I wasn't getting like that flow and another thing I also learned was curling in different directions so you'll see me flip some of the curls you'll see me um, angle um, my hand a little bit with some of them so giving it different movement um, no, I'm sorry, giving it a different curl technique on it, each curl helped give it a lot of movement. So I just been playing around with it and that just really, ugh, it just made it come out so flawless, y'all. I was just so happy with it. I mean, she loved it as well, but I was just personally happy because I know that's something I've been working on um, just as a personal challenge as a stylist and I'm really, really, really getting much better at it. Thank you. 